So today's episode, I will focus on creating for you a very simple package, very simple structure for our package based on the things I've learned these days. So I talked about this in the previous video. You can take a look at the readme file in my GitLab repository and as you can see here this structure looks very simple but recently I read the official documentation and I found something much more simpler than this structure that's why I choose to go for this option instead and make things more simple to you guys in order to understand how packages in Python it is structured in general okay so the first thing we need to do is creating you know directory let's say something like basic package and let me go to this directory basic package so oh, I forget let me add zoom here oh sorry and I'll just make it large to you nice so here we have our package called basic package so in this package we need some dependency files we need to mark this directory as a package so the first thing we need to focus on is something called bin directory or so many forks use the name of source so we would go for this name instead because it looks more meaningful than bin so let's say make directory source so here we are going to include all our packages, our packages, modules, modules, you know, anything looks like a dependency to our package. So here we can go ahead and create, you know, our first package. So let me first go to source directory and make another directory that would be our first step package so let me call it something like initial package or anything so let me let me call it something like we want to make you know yeah like an operations package so let's do something like divide for example so let's make a directory or package called divide and another one for multiply for example right and so the next step is to mark this directories we just created as packages in order to do this we need to go for example to divide and create a file called init.py and I've talked it I've talked about this in the previous video and why you should always include that file to mark your directory as a package so we will do the same as well for multiply directory so let's go to it multiply and let's create a new file in it dot py great so now we have two packages and we might add something like you know maybe we can add older modules but we can just keep this later in the next episode let me get out this directory and go back to source I don't need source go package let me clean this so let me see how my package looks like now so we have divide multiply and the source which includes all directories so we need something more important as well is directory where you should include your test to test your package behavior so we will call this tests and also it should include an init.py okay so let me go to this directory and let's create a new file called init.py Great, so now let me back to basic package, mean directory, and let's see how things look like now. That looks good. So now we need some other dependency files that 
looks more important to include in your own mean package so the first thing that we need to consider is setup so here we have setup.py and setup.config these two options you know anyone can have an opinion about setup.py and setup.config but if you go to the official first I discussed I've discussed these you know the difference between these two files in the previous episode but when I read the documentation the official one I found something different and the documentation recommends using setup.config instead so both files are metadata but setup.config is a static metadata and setup.py is a dynamic metadata so static metadata or setup.config is very simple easier to read and also you will not make some kind of make, or let's say you will avoid making common errors okay so here here is the difference between setup.config and setup.py so you can see here how setup.config looks simple compared to setup.py and setup.py you know see I don't know looks also simple but the documentation recommends setup.config as a file you know to set up your package configuration but you should use something with it called pyproject.toml file which we will talk about it later so in the next episodes so pyproject.toml you have to use it in order to you know include your build tool system you might need to use something like setup tools or maybe you have older you know opinions you can use something like flit or hatch or poetry it depends on you but now I think it's better to keep things simple and let's go for the option of setup.config and pyproject.toml and we'll discuss you know the content of these files later in the next episode so let me back to my terminal and let's create this dependency file which is setup.config and also we need another one called pyproject.toml in order to include and register your setup tools or any build tool you are going to use after that we need you know some other files like readme that can be you know in restructured text format or markdown and also I can add lessons for example so here is text file another file I can use as well is manifest if you remember we are going to use this file in order to include things our package can depend on the things should you know that you need to include yeah in general can be can contain something you know that has no code files so I don't know maybe you can have you can maybe your dependency or maybe your package is depending on on some non-code file in order to operate that's why you should use this file and try you know to include the name of these files there inside manifest.in in order to make your package work properly so we need also changes.txt so this file is useful because you might tell people or developers or end users you know the update of edge release of your package so you have to include this file I think and maybe we need another file that can be optional it depends on you is ignore if you are thinking about you know ignoring some files while pushing your changes to your repository on github or gitlab 
that's all. So let me clear the terminal and tree and see my package structure. You see here we have you know two packages, divide and multiply. Have some dependency files like setup.config and pyproject.terminal. I hope I don't miss anything here. So yeah, that's all. For moment. Yeah, I forget. You know another file that can be important as well. It's a directory where you should include your documentation. I think we can add it as well, so we can call it docs. And that you know could contain you know markdown files, things or something like that. So we might put something like city docs, you know, and touch file here. Let's create a new file by in touch and I don't know, maybe documentation md or something documentation. Good. and that's our latest structure oh that looks pretty so that's all about package structures I try to make things more simple to you guys based on what I've learned but I still need to learn more so in the next episode we will try you know to write some content so write some modules for divide package and multiply package and then we can write some tests using unit testing and also we will configure or add some configuration tools in our setup.config file and our build system needs to be added as well in pyproject.toml add a listen so we'll focus only on these for the next episode before we publish our package to you know to the documentation to Python chasing index or, or PY, PI, you know. That's all for today's episode. Hope you find it useful. If you have any question, leave it in the comment below. Don't forget to check out the readme file in my GitLab repository. And bye for now. Thanks for watching. Master Valley.